Hey, my name is Valter and I'm the founder of Decision Vault. In this uh, video, I will give a quick demonstration of how our integration with Wealth Council works and how you can transfer contacts entered by the client on your questionnaire, transfer those over into Wealth Council and use them for drafting. So um, your client will have worked uh, through the questionnaire. They'll enter, have entered information about themselves, about their children. Uh, they've worked through the asset intake and um, through the sections with any other questions you may have uh, asked them. And then when they submit uh, the matter to you, then you get a notification and you get to a screen like this where I can start to see a list of all the contacts that were entered. I can see and access any documents that were uploaded and I can see a preview of the asset that the client has entered. And from here, I can now integrate and push this information over uh, into Wealth Council. So if I go to that setting um, or that screen, then it lets me make a selection of which of these contacts do I want to sync. I don't have to sync them all. Maybe I uh, want to skip a certain portion of contacts, um, but then uh, I can run the sync. And this will create the matter and create these contacts directly into Wealth Council. So if I now open up this matter, here it is. Uh, it's the demo matter, it's estate planning. I can see the clients are linked to it. Um, and Decision Vault leaves a note with a link uh, to the right object back in Decision Vault that was used to create this. Um, uh, so you can kind of see when, when <laughs> you're a year down the line, you can see that this one was created originally from Decision Vault and which matter it uh, relates to. Um, and if I look at these contexts for the clients, um, they are the spouses in this case the, the client was married the spouses got linked to one another the date of marriage is filled in and also we have here um, the gender the addresses the phone numbers the emails all the information is here and it could go right into drafting um, the other contacts come over too um, if i open those uh, you can use those as well um, while you're drafting and um, there's one more thing to show, which is that uh, you, you have a choice. I know that some law firms like to put the names capitalized in the document. So it's easy to kind of see um, when, when there are names in a document where they are. And so there's a setting in the uh, setup in Decision Vault for the Wealth Council integration where you can save um, set it that when the contact gets synced, the names get synced over in uppercase, right? So if I now go and restart this sync um, and I uh, make a selection. Um, this relates to the names, but also if now the client has come in, they've added some more addresses, they changed a phone number, they added another date of birth, all that information will get updated so I can sync uh, updates. So if I sync it again, those updates will get synced. Um, and then in a moment we can see the effect on the Wealth Council side. Here we go. If I open the client again, then now their full names, including their alias, their preferred name, all of that is uh, capitalized. So that's how our integration with Wealth Council works. Um, for more information about Decision Vault, you can watch the product tour that's available on our website um, or watch the longer on-demand uh, demo or book a demo call with us. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.